Hello. Yeah, hi Nilesh. Am I audible to you now? Good evening, ma'am. Yeah, good evening. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. So, hi Nilesh. Good evening. And uh, how are you? I am fine, ma'am. Yeah. So, this is a strategy session for the EPFO, uh, you know, EOO. So, very, very congratulations for getting rank one twenty six. Thank you, ma'am. Thank yeah. you to you and uh, the uh, uh, Brass Ice team. Yeah. So this is a strategy session, as you know. So basically, my first question is: What is your background and like? What is your schooling? Can you please tell that? Uh, ma'am, I am a PCM. Uh, I have done my twelfth with PCM. Okay. And I have done my graduation in Political Science Honors from Delhi University. And I graduated in two thousand twenty-one. Since then, I have started preparing for civil service exam, and I have attempted two civil service exam, and I have written one mains. Okay. And in the PFO, it was my first attempt. Okay, and you cleared in first attempt. Very, very good. So, what was your strategy? What was yes, your strategy basically for the exam, for the prelims, and for the interview also? Ma'am, uh, if we talk about film, then yeah. as such, uh, I was not very well uh, prepared for the exam because I was not focused on this exam. I was preparing for civil services, and uh, I had a good preparation for that exam. But and I was unfortunate not to clear my prelims in two thousand twenty-three, and uh, when results came, then only nation and CSC twenty twenty-three prelims result. And so my strategy was that the things which I have not studied till now, like accounts, labor law, industrial relation, I will focus on this area and I'll repeatedly study this almost two to three and times. Because three three times. Some of the things were prepared well, and uh, for this, I will say that since my CSC preparation was very good, and that helped me a lot to crack my GS portion. C set helped me. In Doing the English and reasoning and maths stuff, so that preparation helped me a lot. Okay, so which source you referred for these subjects, special subjects like accountancy, industrial relation, and this social security and labor law? Ma'am, as I said, uh, time was not uh, very much with me, yeah. so I solely relied on YouTube and certain PDFs for studying okay. this, and. I just uh, my strategy was that first I have to look at question paper, previous year papers and syllabus, because if you look at previous year paper and syllabus, then you get to know that to what extent you have to study a subject, because labor law, accountancy is a specialization subject, and in this specialty, specialization degree is not art. So UPSC and EPF also expects that you must have that. Uh, certain knowledge, not very deep knowledge, but yes. Just uh, like Hindi, we say, "Above, above, you should know these things." Exactly. So uh, I analyzed that PYQ and uh, papers. So uh, keeping that in mind, mind, I studied this accounts from Sol. I studied accounts solely from YouTube, and for labor law and industrial relation, I got a PDF from Anu Jindal sir. Okay. So I studied that PDF. Okay. Okay. And for rest of yes, the subject like population growth and development, insurance, and even statistics, ma'am, insurance was covered in uh, that PDF only, okay. and rest of the things like statistics and, and etc. I don't study much because in previous year papers there was not much weight exactly. given to it. Yeah. Okay. So, like any uh, source which you like, so yeah. I'm so sorry. Like I'm asking, how many you have tested? Like how many number of tests you have attempted? Uh, ma'am, what I'm saying is not any extrapolation, but I have attempted zero mocks for this exam okay. because. But we need to know the back story of back story of it. The back story of it was that for CSC prelims 2023, I had uh, attempted almost 50 mocks. So I had that experience that yes, in UPSC exam, uh, to what extent I have to attempt the question? Yeah. Because since time was very less, 
so my first priority was that i have to make ready my content then only i can give mocks etc so i just relied on uh, consolidating my and studying my content and for mocks it was my experience of prelims examination csc prelims examination okay okay so what was your schedule daily schedule for this csc and like how do you manage all the, both of the things uh man when i was preparing for csc i was not very focused for this exam so uh, okay. hmm. in fact the day i all today also i remember the day uh, it was 13th june 2023 when prelims results came and then uh, next day i met with my friends some of the friends and they suggested that yes you should give the examination then it was on 14th june when i opened the syllabus of the for exam Okay. So, uh, that what are the things there? So mm-hmm. I thought yes, I have to study little thing for that, and I am not going to do something great in two weeks. So I should give two weeks to this exam because the post was very good, and it was if I was going to get any lower rank in CSC examination, then I would be getting almost similar post. So mm-hmm. I thought yes, that I am now I am not going to think anything, and I am. only going to give my 100% what i whatever i can give in this two weeks to this exam so i didn't counted my hours but yes in that that two weeks i studied labor law almost three times i studied okay. accounts for almost three times and same goes with computer and english <clears throat> okay okay so what was your strategy for the interview like how did you prepare for this interview phase it was going in my mind that yes uh, now i have to get this job because csc is all very uncertain and epfo is also a very good job so for uh, interview i first analyzed that what i have to prepare for interview so in, t- in interview there are four five broad areas like first is dev second is current affair hmm. third is graduation subject Okay. And for the government schemes which the government has launched, okay. so these are the major broad areas which I have prepared, and I have prepared to such an extent that I have filled almost three registers with this information. Okay. Or preparation, preparing that expected question and what I can give answer for that, and yes, so for interview I have prepared a lot. Okay, like for how how many number of mocks? And you for interview, given? I have also given almost nine to, no, almost nine to ten mocks I have given for okay. uh, interview. Okay, so what did you? What was your experience with the you know by giving the mock? Well, mocks are very necessary uh, part, especially if we are preparing for interview, yeah. because many a times. when we are in school when we are in college we get the experience to write but nowhere we get the experience to speak in front of uh, some people who are at good post and have certain age so this interviews give an experience that yes how i am speaking how i am presenting myself exactly. am i able to present my ideas in a stable manner or not or am i able to concise my ideas so these are a lot of things which needs to be kept in mind because when while in you present you are not going to get a lot of time so by interview you get experience yes i need to speak this much i need to speak in this tone with this pitch of voice uh, to this time so these are uh, all things i get <coughs> i improve by in my mock interviews okay okay so any tips for the students those who are preparing for this exam ma'am uh, students those who are preparing for this exam first of all i will say that see do this post both apfc and eoo the posts are very good posts because if you are preparing either for ssc exam or for civil services exam you are getting 
going to get almost similar post. If, uh, if you are not getting the top three post of IAS, IPS, and IFS. So you should not take this exam lightly. And yes, since this, uh, I don't had much time. So my preparation strategy was certain, uh, slightly different. But yes, there was a lot of preparation in the hinder side for CSC exam, for which I studied almost 12 to 13 hours a day, and almost for two, three years. So that all things work for me. And those who are new, they should give respective, respectable time to all the subjects, analyzing the feedback, use, doing mocks, and analyzing their uh, preparation that, yes, what is their preparation, at what level they are. If they are getting any peer group mm -hmm. in which they can discuss this thing, then also it is a very good, it can be a very good. And for interview, I will suggest that, first of all, for interview, I would like to share my experience of interview day. Because, mm -hmm. as I said, that for interview, I have prepared almost three registers with yes, expected questions and answers. And I have given almost nine to ten mocks. But on the interview day, not a single question was asked either from that three notebooks or from eight to ten whatever mock interviews I gave. Even my introduction was not asked and a single question from my dev was not asked. Okay. So you need to go with that mindset that yes, whatever is going to come, I will answer confidently. See, uh, for any preparation and any state of examination, mindset matters a lot. This year also, the EPFO paper was written, recruitment test paper was very difficult. So you need to keep in, in mind that if paper is difficult, it is difficult for everyone, not just a uh, single experience. So you need to just keep yourself up at that time, in that situation. Because confidence matters a lot, be it written exam or in interview. And next thing, for interview, what worked for me, I will say that when questions were not an expected line, I also became a bit of fearful. But yes, that confidence was on my face. And I got bored of uh, RN Chaube, sir, and he is known not to give good marks. So that also was in the hinder side. And my interviews went almost for 15 minutes. And after 15, 16 minutes, uh, the chairman said, yes, we are over and now you can go. But uh, what I have heard from the past uh, experience who were already appeared for the interview, they said they were getting almost 20, 25 minutes. So I thought that I I got very less time. And I am not, there is a, my perspective for interview is that you are a product for the book and you need to sell yourself. And you need to prove that you are such a product that you are apart from others. You are special from others. Then also only other the person will buy you. So I thought that in this 15 minute, I have not I am not able to sell myself very uh, in a good manner. So they asked me, "Do you want to tell something about TPFO?" Then uh, I said that yes, I have some ground level knowledge about TPFO. that there are this uh, clause in EPF who working at ground level. So this is causing inconvenience to the people and diminishing the image of the EPF organization. So if I'm getting a chance to work in this institute, at my personal level, I will uh, do whatever I can do to correct this. So this was one thing. And one other thing was that when they ask two, three situational questions to me, that if you are head of uh, account department and there are uh, irregularities, what you will do, and questions like this were there, then I just not uh, jumped in with my suggestions that yes, I will do one, two, three, four, this type of thing. I think my answer for that also was mature. I said that, sir, first of all, since I am not there at present, I am not. Uh, I do not know what exact irregularities are, what exact situation is. So first of all, I'll form a committee to analyze the whole thing that what is going on and all any action that 
will be taken. It will be taken based on the recommendations of that committee. So that answer also appears to be a bit mature. Okay. Uh, Nilesh, you can turn off the camera. I think you must be having a bad network connection. Yeah. Am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. I think there are some certain. Yeah, there are certain uh, some network issues. You can, you know, yes, turn off your camera also. That's not a problem. Yeah. So the last question I want to ask is like, what was the oh, difficulty level of the examination? This year, the paper was uh, quite difficult, and uh, in every PSC exam, UPSC is increasing the difficulty level. And with difficulty level, now the competition is also increasing because earlier people do not used to know what is EPFO, and since vacancy is also not regular, so people do not give much focus to it. But now, since many coaching institutes are promoting this uh, recruitment test. So there is competition is going to increase for this exam. So aspirants need to keep these things in mind that yes, they should not keep, they should not uh, see this exam very lightly because both competition and toughness of this exam is going to increase. Okay. Okay. So any credit you want to give to your family or like friend, whoever is behind your struggle, like success. my brother who have made a lot of sacrifices for me and my friends especially Prashant and Aman who have worked tirelessly with me in order to ensure that yes I am go I crack this exam okay okay so yeah thank you uh, Nilesh for this strategy session it was so good and uh, I hope many of the students will learn you know a lot of things from you so thank you so thank you so much and we are very proud of you we will hope to meet you soon in the offline center whenever you are available thank you yeah. ma'am and just uh, last point i yeah. would also like to thank vas is for conducting mock sessions and yes really the mock sessions were very nice and i think it was my second and last interview and after giving this vas is session i gained a lot of confidence because uh, the interview is very cordial and very nice. Man. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. All the very best for your success, for your future also. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you Nilesh.